Have you ever wanted to manifest money? Well, that's what my friend Richard did when he manifested $1 million in a year. I'm gonna share you his story, but I can't guarantee that you'll manifest a million dollars, but I will show you how to align with the law of manifestation so that you can attract and manifest the kind of money that you want. Richard and I were having breakfast, we're having chai lattes, and we're just having a normal conversation like we usually do. And then he was, started telling me, he says, you know, Croy, I've been writing down for a couple of months now, every morning 50 times, I am earning a million dollars net personal income and then he wrote down a year. I am earning a million dollars net income in one year. I am earning a million dollars net income in one year. And he wrote that down 50 times a day. Every day, and this had been going on for months, but nothing had really changed. Now Richard's a successful business owner, but he had never really come the close to earning a million dollars net personal income in a year. But that was his goal for this year. It's like some way, somehow, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna figure it out. So we had coffee a couple months later, still nothing had really happened. You know, I was like, how's it going writing down the million dollars? I was like, no, I'm still doing it, and, uh, but I haven't really come close yet. And then a few months later, same year, we're, we're having coffee again, we're drinking chai lattes again. And he tells me, you know, Croy, guess what? I did it. I'm like, you did what? Richard, what did you do? It's like I earned a million dollars and it's not even the end of the year yet. I earned a million dollars personal net income. I've been trying to break that amount for years, but this year, I told you months ago, I've been writing it down, writing it down, writing it down, writing it down, and I finally achieved it. Now, was it the writing that achieved it for Richard? or was it something else? Was it the actual act of writing? Was it the programming of his mind? What was it that created that synergy for him to be able to attract and earn a million dollars of income in a year? Well, it's a little bit of all of it. The writing down, the physical aspect of writing down is a fantastic thing, but it's the writing down of the same program each day because you can think it but when you write it down, it activates different parts of your mind and your brain. So writing it down every day, this is why journaling is so effective. You can use journaling for all sorts of things, but when you use it in the way that Richard was, that was programming it down. It's a, it's a form of mantra, it's a form of incantations. I am earning a million dollars net income in this year. And so he wrote it down, wrote it down, and what happens is that started to get ingrained in his mind. So at first, his mind was probably saying, yeah, baloney, this isn't gonna happen because he hadn't come close to that yet. And so for a while, his mind, there's an incongruency, there is a, a resistance, there is friction for him to be able to achieve that. But as he wrote it down every day, 50 times a day, every day, as he wrote that down, over time, that resistance, that friction, that incongruity, st st started becoming congruent. The friction became less, the resistance became less. And so now his mind started accepting it. You know what? Maybe I'm gonna do it. Then eventually it's like, you know what? I'm gonna figure it out. And that's why it works for you to do that every day, the incantations, to say it out loud, to write it down. But then what also happens is that now he's aligning himself to uh, create and to attract and to manifest that goal. And so now his mind's starting to think differently. Like, how can I do it? I've never done it before, but how can I do it? So if you want a better outcome, you want a better result, you need to ask yourself better questions. So instead of saying, you know, I want more money, which only creates more wanting, I want a million dollars. Well, it'll create more wanting of a million dollars, but it won't actually create the million dollars. What Richard was doing was actually programming is I am earning a million dollars personal net income this year. And so if you just want something, I want a great relationship, I want to start dating, I want to lose weight, you're just creating more wanting. You're not creating the thing that you want. So it's a very important distinction. So you have to program your mind and you can't program your mind for something that it cannot believe. So you can program your mind in a step if you need to, if you want to, if you have so much resistance, you have so much friction to get to something. You know, you can't say I'm, 180 pounds and I'm my perfect fit body and I have a six pack. You can't say that if you're 250 and you haven't been 180 since high school. Because now your mind's saying, yeah, baloney, I'm 250, look at yourself in the mirror. So there's a big resistance. So you can't say, I'm on the path to losing 
50 pounds, so I will be 180 pounds by the end of this year. There's less resistance in that, and if you say it over and over and over, you write it down every day, there'll be less and less resistance, less friction, more congruency every single day. And that's what Richard was doing. He was creating congruency between what he wanted, his thoughts, the goal, and his what was going to be happening in his life, and then eventually what did happen in his life. And so now you start asking yourself this question, well, how can I do it? How can I lose weight and make it easy and fun so that it's not a struggle? How can I earn a million dollars and work less hours each week? How can I be a better father, be more present, and be a better husband, or whatever your goal is? How can I, if you start asking that, then you gotta ask it in, in more specific ways. So how can I earn a million dollars working less and making it fun along the way? It's a great question. And what will happen over time? Over time, you'll start coming up with new ideas. So, well, what if I did this? What if I did this? What if I started a side business? Well, what if I got rid of these clients and I only focused on these clients? Well, what if I came up with a new product? Well, what if I left that job and I, I, I went out and found another job? You know, all these ideas, and a lot of these ideas, they won't be very good ideas, but some of them, maybe only one, maybe a couple, maybe several, will be the million dollar idea. And then once you have that idea, like Richard, Richard, he was working and he was aligned and he was making it happen. And he got the, he broke through to that million dollars with just one major new client for his business. And that's what got him over the barrier because that client was a big, big client. And he hadn't ever got clients that big before with that kind of result, that kind of income outcome. And so that's what was happening. It's like, well, how can I do it? And so Richard's a pretty smart guy. He was marketing he was marketing online. He was marketing with Google Ads. He was on Facebook. He was doing all these things. Most of his ideas didn't work at all. But one of them did. And one of them got that one big client. It got a bunch of other clients too. So it wasn't just the one client, but that one big client was the one that pushed him over that barrier, over that hurdle that got him to that amount. And so it's not only aligning your mind, uh, reducing the resistance, creating the congruency, but then you have to go out and ask yourself new ideas. How can I do it? How can I do it to make it fun? How can I do it to work less hours? How can I do it to be less struggle? How can I do it and, and you know, have all these different ideas? And then you've got to go out and do the work. So that's the thing about the law of attraction. You've heard of the movie and the book, The Secret. Well, the one thing they don't really focus on and that's as much as they should, is that you have to not only be aligned and congruent with that goal that you want, you have to believe it, but you also have to go out and do the work. And here's the final part. Here's the part that's very, very important. You emotionally have to be congruent, connected, and be full on board with that goal that you want. Emotional, not only mental, the psychological, but the emotional aspect. Because if you have an emotional resistance, friction towards that goal, then you won't be able to achieve it. You've got to have the enthusiasm and you gotta take the action and you've gotta believe that it's possible. You don't have to know how, but you have to believe it's possible and take the actions to make it happen. And that's exactly what Richard did when he manifested a million dollars in a year personal income.